Hey everybody, Spoon Brad here, and today we're going to do something different. We're going to um, explore Firefox browser uh, and learn some stuff how to deal with it. Uh, there are going to be a lot of shortcut keys. Uh, you don't need to remember them all, but there are quite a few that are pretty handy. Uh, and one of them is uh, Control L, which will move you to the location bar in which you can type your address. Control K um, moves you to the search bar, which will also allow you to. Um, you can then change, by the way, your search engines with the Alt down or the Alt up, or press F4. That will do the same. So pressing F4, you can uh, choose which search engine you want to have. Um, Let's just say that we have a URL and you want to visit this URL a lot, you can bookmark it. You can do that by pressing uh, Control D, which will bookmark the page, and you can bookmark the page in different folders. So you can have it on the toolbar, and I will show you the toolbar. So uh, you can have it in the menu. Or just in unsorted, just whatever, or you can choose to have your own um, folder. Uh, let's put it on the toolbar and we'll just say done. Uh, you can also see your bookmarks with control B, and then you'll see Spoonfed in here. Or you can do uh, Control Shift B, and that will give you a nice library menu, which has a lot of things actually. But the most important is the bookmarks right now. Um, you can see the bookmark toolbar by right-clicking here uh, alongside tabs, and then the bookmark bar will be here, and we'll just delete this one and delete that one so um, that's it for bookmarks um, also I'm doing this in a random fashion there's not probably not a lot of sense to them you can do alt home to go to your start page or your home page and that could be anything you have set up which we'll do towards the end of this video uh, to open a new tab, press Control T. That's a new tab. Um, even a new window you can open by con pressing Control N. Well, we can close this window and we can close that tab. And with Control Shift N, we get the window that we just closed. And Control Shift T will get the tab back that we just that we most recently closed, and it doesn't work on empty tabs so new tab closing that won't count as the latest tab it will have to be um, well the last tab that I physically closed so um, uh, we also have control O which you can use to open a file um, Let's see what the next one should be. Oh uh, yeah, you can do Control Shift P and you can start private browsing. And um, you can click do not show this message again. Basically, what it will do is we'll save your current tabs. Well, we don't have any current tabs really. And uh, when you're done with private browsing, and private browsing is just that it won't remember any history that's it that's literally it but everything you download and what you bookmark will be kept so um, yeah and let's see if we can do another control shift P to go back to the normal one and we're back in the normal one so you can use that to switch between the um, private browsing and like normal browsing um, 
let's see what we got if we go here if you do control U you'll get the source code and in here you can say um, syntax highlighting because if you don't you get this which is very annoying and wrap long lines so you can have everything in the screen that you want it you can also do this uh, so let's say we want to open something up but we don't want to lose this tab you can press alt enter and it will open in a new tab um, to switch between tabs you can use the console tab um, you can use control page up and page down with page up being to the right and page down being to the left you can use control 1 to 8 for the first 8 tabs and then control 9 is the last tab um, uh, let's see we have anything else on tabs yes you have this view as control shift E you can tap your groups or you can group your tabs together I mean um, and you can name them so let's name this one uh, spoon fat and we'll open a new one by double clicking here and we'll name this youtube.com um, and google.com and mail at google.com and we'll go back to console shift E now we have a new group here which we can expand and move around and we'll name this uh, the Google group this one can be smaller It's annoying that you cannot like so. All right, so um, you can use this view to get um, like all your tabs together, and you just open this one up, and you don't have all tabs in one like bar, but you can have them separated. Now, if you go to two three stops here so it's not like you can go to the next group and um, if you click this button that's the same and you click this button again you go back to normal view of which tab where, wherever you are so I'm gonna close that tab you get this window now close it again open this one up alright that's I think everything on tabs which I can think of yeah um, next one is going to be oh, let's look, take a look at the history you do control H you'll get the history in the bar on the left you can do control shift H and you'll get this menu the same way as control shift B goes to bookmarks um, you have control J which is downloads and control shift J you might think that is the same as control shift H and control H it's not control shift H is um, an arrow console so uh, you can view all the errors that you like say you're a web developer you can load your website and see errors that might not be um, like the catastrophic for web design like it will load the page but there's still errors containing you can check these out here and see what's going on so I'll clear it I have no idea if I have any errors but we can find out oh that's not what I wanted Uh, of course it will load my uh, YouTube movie so everything in here is from YouTube and it's something I cannot um, 
fix. That's what they have to do. Um, so this can go. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit weird, you know, you because you have a downloads button um, in here. You have all the downloads that I did in here, which is what you uh, would use for getting downloads back. Like say you delete download, and you think, oh, where was that thing again? Search your download history. So do Control Shift H or Control Shift B, click downloads. Um, if anybody knows the shortcut code to there, let me know. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, we have a very cool thing going on. Control K was the search bar. Control Shift K is the web developer bar, and you can run stuff from here. And it will work as you can see, and that's undefined, of course. Um, so, yeah, that's um, Control Shift K. Okay. Um, we have another th feature that's Shift F4. So, F4 search engines, but Shift F4 is this. And in the scratch pad, uh, you can do Control R, which will be the first one run to evaluate the selected text so this just pardon me run um, you can also right click of course and say run inspect display but you know you just uh, do that we'll say run and you can see it works so now we have to delete that one You can also, well, I'll, let, I'll let this stand by the way, press Control i that will bring it up, or you can uh, press Control l and it will just display it. Basically, inspect to bring up an object inspector on the result or display to insert a result in in a comment after selection well in all the cases alert will give or prompt you can even do that will give a result so it's not really the best example to do but that's a different way so only to run the evaluate text to do it in an object inspector or to get it inside uh, or uh, insert the result in a comment after the selection, so that's uh, Shift F4 scratch pad. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh, we had the error console, web developer. We had the scratch pad. Uh, you do have something awesome. It is in, if you press the single quote button, you get quick find links only. So it should be that if I enter well I did YouTube I wanted to go and immediately it goes to YouTube the other one is the um, backslash under the uh, question mark it's a quick find you can do this it won't find anything because in the text there's no YouTube but if I do this I'll probably find a lot of stuff and yes, I will see. You know, the first thing it did was uh, find the menu button for or the link for hacking at Spoonfed.org. So I did not change the theme on this one yet, so I need to do that. Nope, that does not exist. Or well, maybe it does, but I don't want to go there. Alright, so that's. Um, Quick find links only and quick find. You also have normal find, which is Ctrl F. And if you do that, you get this, and then you can go basically to the next with enter, and you'll go all the way down, and you go all the way back up again. That's it. And you can highlight them all. 
them which is sometimes easy because if you do this you can just scroll the page and you can see like everywhere there's spoon fed you see ah there it's mentioned um, let's close this bar let's say we want to find it again we we closed it but we didn't find a result we want to run uh, the search again we you can do find again with um, Uh, Ctrl G is fine again, and F3 does the same. So F3 finds it, and you can just hit F3 and you go through all the whole um, page without having to search find bar open, which is the same as Ctrl F and now pressing uh, F3 or Ctrl G. Um, that's it for finding and all kinds of stuff. Um, now for some history, uh, you can do Alt and the arrow key left will go back and the arrow key right will go forward. And it's the same as pressing backspace and shift backspace. So those four will move you um, in history like the, the back button and the forward button on your um, URL bar. So we'll do the same as these two buttons. Uh, you have uh, the infamous F5 reload. You can also use Ctrl R as a reload. But sometimes um, if you're working on a project and you need to reload constantly, some things will be kept in a cache file. So you get the problem that it won't load correctly um, because there's something in the cache that it takes from instead of your new code that you've just written so press Control f5 it will do a full reload and override the cache or Control shift r those are all the same um, uh, escape at any point is stopping the loading of the page so just enter escape stopped it but I already have something open so let me just open up a new tab we'll hit enter escape and now you can see that it really stopped um, if you press end you go to the bottom of the page if you press home you go to the top of the page Ah, all right. Cool. F6 is selecting of frames, and Shift F6 is like the previous frame. So if I press F6 now, you can see what is the thin uh, line that I'm in this frame right here. If I press Shift F6, uh, you can see that I'm in this frame right here for the tabs. Um, you can zoom in and out of on a page which is control plus zooms you pretty far in and control minus you can zoom all the way out and control zero is the neutral level like the default level um, you have the standard stuff of course you can um, now let me do that in here you can copy stuff with Control C and then paste them with Control V or you can cut them with Control X and paste them with Control V that's the normal ones you have Control A to select all the text you have Control Y to redo something that you did and Control Z to undo something that you did uh, the delete uh, button is basically just that to, to delete but uh, stuff like I know that that showcase doesn't exist I'll stand on this autocomplete and press delete to remove all these um, things from my autocomplete list so it won't show up anymore
And as you can see, there are quite a lot. All right, well, that's fine. Um, do I, am I forgetting anything? Let's see here. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Oh yeah, of course. A new window is no sorry Control W is close tab Control Shift T is getting it back um, so now I have them all back uh, let's see we have that one oh, yeah. Control Home and Control End does the same as Home and End um we discussed that one, we had that one. Yeah. We'll do that later because I want to finish with something. Yeah, alright, so we did all the buttons. Yeah, I've written a lot of stuff down, so if you hear paper that's that. Um so we're going to set some stuff up so we're going to do Firefox and then uh, options and here you can um, see all the options that you need but you know some options to make your life better is um, when Firefox starts showing Windows and tabs from last time could be an option you could also say um, show a standard home page or show a blank page uh, I quite like when I close my browser it will give me the tabs that I closed so that's just something that I like um, but you can do a home page and uh, you can even do this and then say don't load tabs until selected meaning it will only load the tabs that are selected so yeah basically it's a, a bit pointless um, we'll do a home page and you can see that it takes the whole browser history in oh well we can use the current page that's far easier uh show downloads window when downloading a file you can opt for like removing that because i believe that is downloading it's no problem you can save the files to a standard location or you can say to always ask for when it has to save files uh we'll do this later um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Tabs, yeah. Open new windows uh, in a new tab instead. Something I like because sometimes um, if a link redirects to a new window, nowadays it will open a new tab usually, but sometimes it will open literally in a new window, which is quite annoying. Warming and closing multiple tabs. Doesn't need to be warming and opening. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, always show the tab bar, yes. No, this is what I hate. Um, and show tab previews in the Windows task bar. That's something that if you do this, you get only this one. If you press that one, you can get multiple Firefox windows and all the tabs you can click immediately on. So if I do this, oh, I'll click OK. And you can see here that I have all the previews with one running something that I don't know what it is. And I can close it. Cool. So that's that's what happens if you switch that option on, which could be uh, handy. Content, block pop-up windows, yes, load image automatically, yes, and then with JavaScript, well, you can opt for switching it off, but uh, for people who are not concerned about privacy, you can leave it alone. Uh, you can, of course, select the default font. Uh, for people who have not selected their font, you can read in any font you like, so which whatever you want. Um, applications is just... Uh, what happens if I open a mail to? Well, it will say always ask, but you can also 
opt for using a standard program. Or sometimes you see that mail two is being opened with, I don't know, Outlook or something, and um, you could change it here to do something else. Uh, we'll go to privacy and we'll select that one. Tell websites I do not want to be tracked is something that will at least give you um, a little bit of rest from annoying ads. So, uh, Firefox to remember history you can use to never remember history or use custom settings. Uh, if you click custom settings, you'll get this nice little cool thing, and you can um, select here, for example, always use private browsing mode, which is the same as never remembering history. Um, you can also say don't remember my download history, uh, don't remember like anything. Oh, we've got one on the history, by the way. Uh, I will quickly go to that. Um, I'll set this to uh, memory history. Okay. If you press Control Shift Del, you will delete uh, the recent history. And you can also say everything, by the way. Just so you know. Uh, and the location bar, when using location bar, suggest history and bookmarks or just history or nothing. You can just basically tell all complete to be quiet by doing nothing. Um, security, one minute try when sites try to install add-ons is normal. Uh, block reported attack sites and block reported web forgeries, that's also handy. Remember password for sites. Um, yeah, I did this because I wanted to show a um, um, there's a program, uh, I, forgot, oh, I forget the name of it, but basically you can use it to see your password from your Firefox. Um, sync account we will do in a later thing because it's not really yeah handy right now. But uh, sync lets you sync your Firefox session basically across uh, all your devices. So you can use it on your mobile phone, you can use it on other computers and you will have your same Firefox session with you all the time. Which is pretty handy. Um, and then advanced, we will not be going into this actually because this is, well, oh, the only thing actually in accessibility is maybe this one, search for text when I start typing, that's a pretty handy tool to have that you don't even have to press control F and then, so that's pretty, um, and then network you can do, um, like proxy settings, your cache, how much, how big it can be, uh, what you want to automatically update, and how, and for the encryption, and of course, when it asks a personal certificate, ask every time so you can see what it wants. Well, okay. Uh, now, one more thing we can do is if I close this and I start it up. It should only display my one page. Let's just open up another one. Um, all right, let's just say um, if you right click this and say pin as app tab, which is not really handy because I don't have a favicon installed yet. Uh, I need to do this. So you can have a nice little icon there. These two are now pin as app tabs and if I'm correct it should just start up with those in the left corner. Yes, here you can see. So before you would only see my home page but if you select them as app tabs, so tabs you would normally use a lot, let's say your mail and like YouTube you can select them. You can even have a group of app tabs and have them in uh, group tabs. And then you all you will always know that one group will always load, and um, and you have your normal session here with in the Control Shift E. You would have here you can see them these two. You'd have your app tabs. So that's pretty cool. So we'll unpin this one and unpin that one. 
uh, oh, one more feature you can use is Control Shift D, which is um, bookmark all the tabs you have open, and you can bookmark them to wherever you want. Uh, that's it for using Firefox and to use the shortcuts. And now we'll go to a feature of. Uh, oh, I think I've. Oh, wait a minute, I've got one. It's not what I want. Ah, I cannot do it with this one yet. No, no, that's true. I've got, um, normally you can do inspect element, but I think I'm on a old version or older version. Which one do I have? Yeah, I have nine. All right, download the update. I was gonna say normally you you have one more that's for inspect element. They have a standard um, shortcut now, but um, Control Shift A will get you to the add-on feature of um, Firefox, and you can do it like so. You can install add-ons what you want but you can also go to um, add-ons that one add-ons.mozilla.org you will get, get to this page but they will both have the same um, uh, uh, like library same thing uh, this is the same, the do not track plus is the same as we said do not track us. Basically we'll send out a header with do not track equals one and that's it. But at least it's not, not, not nothing. Um, here you have some featured add-ons and you have personas and personas I will get into after this. Here you can see the up and coming that we just saw on the other one. Um, and basically you search all add-ons for whatever add-on you want and um, here you can uh, s say s check for updates for your recent uh, add-ons and um, install add-on from file you sometimes have sites that have a add-on but not on a Mozilla like site so you can install them from the file it's an XPI file um, you have extensions, which is your already installed add-ons. You have plugins, which are uh, basically to show you content on a website. And you can see here to see if your plugins are up to date. And you can have appearances. And I have the default theme, which gets me back to personas and themes. You can have a theme or you can have a persona. And persona basically is just this top bit here that will be... Uh, modified and if you get a theme also these buttons and whatnot the URL bar thing can be uh, modified so let's just go and see all the personas let's just get one um, I won't do that hard. I quite like this one. We'll say add to Firefox. Except to install theme. This. And that's it. As you can see, only this top part, this behind the bar, uh, as it were, is now being changed. And you might sometimes get, uh, if you're in a new tab, that it will show an image. But that's not with all of them. So that's um, personas. It's just a small, like personalization. Um, but you also have themes, like I said. Uh, I have no idea if we can find it like this. Yeah, here we have a lot of themes. Uh, let's say well, Mac OS. You can click more. And here you can see that it will change all the buttons and really the 
whole presentation of uh, Firefox. So that's the difference between a theme and a persona. I'm not going to install a theme because, well, I quite like the default actually now. It used to be that I did not like it because it was, well, pretty ugly actually, but I like, quite like it right now. Well, you can even here have a um, persona switcher. So you can have multiple personas and, yeah, it doesn't really do anything, but still um, so yeah that's that's it for the whole Firefox thing and there's only one more thing we're gonna do and this is then this very long video is concluded um, if you go into file or uh, start I mean sorry file start and then you have Firefox here or right click this one right click that one and then say properties you can enter a shortcut key here which I will make uh, control alt M apply okay now we can launch uh, Firefox with control alt M from our uh, from our keyboard like like anywhere uh, which in which control alt m is not already defined as not a shortcut key like um, just as an example let, let it be that it's uh, I don't know something with macros in word or excel then control alt m won't fire up firefox it will only do it if there's not a button like in the program itself now some combinations you cannot use here because they're already defined by something else um, of which we will discuss at a much later time um, what it is all about so that's my very long video on how to use Firefox with all its shortcuts and most of the features um, right, and now you have inspect elements so it should work and that's control shift I um, does the inspect element and then you can just hover your mouse around saying oh what is what so that's pretty cool you can click it and then it will stay there and you can click the HTML here you will see the HTML code you can click the style and you'll see the style rules and you can add new rules and you can change them and you can do all kinds of stuff um, that's it for the whole Firefox browser now that's definitely it